All right, welcome to the sixth video here where we're going to be adding our win and lose screens for our Adventures of Mario program. So in the last video, we added a countdown timer uh, starting at 15 seconds. If you win, it is when you obtain all of the four points. So if your score is four, you win. Oop, there you go. Uh, and if you lose all your lives, so if you are out of lives by either getting the Goomba or if you're out of time, you lose. So looking at our code, we've already created the fundamental basis. We're gonna use our stages here. So we have our stage uh, variable and in draw, we have that if stage is zero, run splash. If stage is run one, run game. We'll make that if stage is two, you win. And if stage is three, you lose. So we're gonna add a couple new functions here. So I'm gonna add these functions after our game. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down uh, and I'm gonna go before gravity, I'm just using my nice little comment break up here. We're gonna call this uh, win screen. So we're gonna say function win screen, parenthesis, parenthesis, open bracket, and then we're gonna immediately close that. Close, so you win function. Okay. And I'm just going to copy that little chunk of code right here. And we're going to say lose screen. And we'll rename that to lose screen. You lose function. All right. So we have two more functions here. Function win screen, function lose screen. Now let's just go ahead and drop uh, some code in here, right? So I'm gonna actually place in, you can place in whatever you want. So for example, you can have, um, you know, a black background or a red background or maybe another image. If you wanna upload an image, that's fine. I'm just gonna use text to do this. So I'm just gonna go grab my landscape image here um, that I've already pasted before. And I'm just gonna drop that into both of these functions. So this is just a picture of my Mario landscape. And I'm just going to borrow my font here from, I guess this is the timer, text font. And let's just say, let's do the size, let's make this huge, let's make this like 50, let's make this like 200 actually. And we'll just call this, you win. And we'll go with divided by two, oops, no caps here. With divided by two and height divided by two. Height divided by two. And I'm just gonna copy this chunk of code and place that here and say, you lose. All right, so there's my image, win screen, lose screen. Now let's just see, we really can't test if this works yet because we haven't created a stage for these guys, but we have the functions. Um, if I press play, I shouldn't have any error messages or anything like that, but obviously I'm not gonna see these screens. Uh, before we bother setting up an if statement to see if they're working, we'll just test these guys out Let's go to our draw code. We have an if statement for each stage. So I'm gonna copy this if stage equals one for my game, and I'm gonna change it that if stage equals equals two, that's going to be, what do we call it? Win screen, close equals two. Uh, and then if stage equals equals three, we'll call that lose screen. All right, and we'll just say close three. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna manually test these guys out. So in global, stage equals zero. Let's change it to stage equals two. This should now be my win screen when I press play. There we go, you win. And if we change it to stage equals three, this should be my lose screen. Great, you lose, perfect. So my screens are working. Now we just need to trigger when they should happen. So I'm gonna put that back to zero. So this should now put us back at our splash screen, okay? And the triggering happens in our game, right? Because you're either winning or losing in the game code. So let's scroll down to our function game. We're gonna go all the way down to the very end, uh, all the way down, all the way down. This should be after the timer and before our win screen. So right here, I'm just gonna put a comment saying, code to trigger win or lose screens, all right? Now I also wanna do a sound effect, right? So I wanna do kind of like a game over win and a game over uh, lose. Um, so if you have made a copy of my Mario code, you should already have the sounds here. If you haven't, you can actually grab the win sound and the lose sound from Google Classroom. So you can download these 
and upload them to your code by hitting select and then selecting the win sound and the game over sound and uploading those here. All right, let's just go to global real quick and make some variables, multimedia variables. So we're gonna make a variable called win sound and a variable called lose sound, win sound, lose sound. And uh, let's go to our preload. I'm gonna say win sound equals load sound and that one is called Mario underscore win underscore sound dot m four a and then lose sound is gonna equal load sound Mario underscore game over underscore sound dot m four a Okay, so there's our two sound effects, ready to go. Win sound, lose sound. Uh, let's go back to our game. Function game, let's see, here we go. Code the trigger, win or lose screen. So what, these are gonna be if statements. What makes us win? So if, that's our score. If score is greater than or equal to four, four to win because there are four coins. All right, uh, well then what do we wanna happen? Well, we wanna play our win sound. So we're gonna say win sound dot play, parenthesis, parenthesis, semicolon. And then we're going to say stage equals two, which is going to be trigger win screen. Close, you win. Okay, so score is greater than or equal to four. Win sound play, stage equals two. Let's see if that works. Let's go ahead and play. And let's grab one, two, three. There we go. All right, and now let's just do for losing. Now when we lose, we can actually lose two different ways. So we're gonna do two if statements here. So if we say if, uh, let's do lives first. So if lives, is less than or equal to zero. No more lives. So lose. Well, uh, we want to do lose sound dot play. Oops, lowercase p dot play. Parentheses, parentheses, semicolon. And stage is going to be equal to three. Close, lose, because no lives. So let's give that a shot. There we go. That's working. And I'm just going to copy and paste this if statement here. So copy. We're going to paste. And instead of saying lives is less than or equal to zero, we're going to actually say, uh, what is it? Game time. And it's actually going to be greater than or equal to uh, what is it? Time limit. So this is going to be out of time and lose because no time. What's inside the if statement remains the same. So we're still going to play the same lose down. We're still going to go the same lose screen. Just the trigger is different. So game time is out of time. Let's press play and let's patiently sit here and wait until our timer runs out. Might as well get some points while we wait. Very careful not to actually die or win. Here we go, two, one, zero, out of time. All right, so now we've successfully created a splash screen to welcome you, both a win, a lose screen, a way to win and lose the game. This is essentially a completed game. If you're interested and if you have time, I have a couple bonus videos. They include how to make these Goombas move back and forth uh, to make this a little bit more challenging, as well as how to change your theme. So if you decide that you don't want to do Mario, but you want to do, say, Adventures of R2-D2 or Find a Donut or whatever it is that you want, I'll demonstrate how to upload different images and change your theme relatively easy as bonus videos. Nice job. Make sure that your program is submitted to the interactive programming class and the final project assignment if it isn't already. Well done.